What's up, YouTube? This is Dr. Davidson. I'm back with another NBA 2K23 video. So, again, today I'm bringing another 2010's best player of the era, and it goes to none other than number 13 from Arizona State. My favorite player, even though he may not be as good as he, as he used to be, he was my favorite player when he came out continue to be my favorite player up until now that is none other than the Houston Rocket second best player of all time James M. Effin Harden okay so you know for James Harden we're gonna go 6'5 220 pounds 6'7 wingspan solid body type now with James Harden there was two things I could have done I could have went driving dunk, because he could dunk, don't get me wrong, but when I think of prime Harden, when I think of Harden in his bag, the best Harden, uh, James, James Harden of the Houston Rockets, I think of relentless finisher James Harden. Now the only way I could get re relentless finisher is if I went 96 driving layup, so I wanted to make sure he got relentless finisher as well as bully those are the only two badges that i want from this sure he was an acrobat with the euro steps of course was it hall of fame no i give him gold um and then slithery as well but i wanted to make sure he got relentless finisher you want to talk about someone who finished through contact consistently this was james harden now i know there's some haters out there that say oh he only did it to drop out hey it works part of the game part of the rules deal with it um, so I put his driving dunk on 40. You can still get some some uh, okay two hand dunks with the 40. So it's not all too bad. Uh, of course, I think it should be higher, but hey, it is what it is. On this game, you gotta sacrifice. Yeah, that's what I'm sacrificing. So then we're gonna go ahead and go to shooting. I wanna also make sure he got that gold agent three. Now, like I said, prime James Harden step back threes. Now, Prime James Harden can shoot mid-range as well, but when Mike D'Antoni got to the Rockets, turned him strictly into a three-point shooter because there was no mid-range. So I wanted to show James Harden mid-range prowess because that's all he used to shoot, honestly, before Mike D'Antoni got there. So I wanted to make sure people could see that. So you still get the 81 mid-range. So you still get the uh, Space Creator Hall of Fame, which is really, really, really what matters. And then you get the Agent 3 on gold. Um, you can also go green machine. You can go blinders with the step back. You can go limitless range silver So there's a lot of options you can go with James Harden as far as shooting then we get to the playmaking now to me in his prime James Harden was a top five Passer in the NBA. Of course, we got Bron. We got CP uh, But once you actually look at the list James Harden is definitely up there. So I wanted uh, him to have a real uh, good pass accuracy of course you know the ball handle has to be stupid this is the highest I could go in order to spread out the stats evenly so I want to make sure his ball handle was decent and then like I said speed with ball again really doesn't matter unless you're playing prime or rec so of course you get the dimer um, you get the ankle breaker you can use special delivery when he used to throw those lobs to good old Clint Capella good times good times and Dwight Howard you get the quick first step on Hall of Fame. It's probably the most important quick first step on Hall of Fame. Then you also get the hyperdrive, gold, and pluckable gold, plant breaker gold, and then once again the handles for days and the killer um, combos. And then we go to defense. Defense doesn't matter. It's the James Harden build. So, you know. He used to get steals. A lot of off ball steals. A lot of post steals. So I guess I could lower his perimeter defense. But that lowers the speed. See, that's the only problem. And then I would put up his interior defense because he played better interior than perimeter defense for sure. Uh, so we'll just keep it at that. Uh, we can raise the rebounding, I guess. Um, and then he gets 75 steal. He gets glove and interceptor. So if that's what you want to do, hey, be my guest. I'm not going to waste any points on that. Um, then we got to go speed, 85, excel, 85. Now strength which is important to me. I want to make sure he got in the 80s. Now, if you want to run Silver Bully, that's more effective. Uh, 
I think that's the most effective use of bully. If you have bronze bully, it really doesn't do much. So I wanted to make sure his strength got in the 80s. You get a 60 vertical and an 87 stand. So for James Harden, of course, ankle breaking shots for the step back and then limitless range because when he got hot, that man can shoot it from anywhere. So let's see who we got here. Shades of Joe Dumars, Tyler Hero, and Bradley Bill. Okay, those are some interesting shades. None of those players have anything in common, which is funny to me. So, like I said, James Harden build here. Like I said, my favorite player of the 2010s. Some people hate him. Some people love him. Obviously, one of the most polarizing players of the 2010s for sure. But like I said, if you want to play with this build, man, you'll have fun. You can do everything James Harden can do. Uh, bully people to the rim. Finish through contact. Step back threes. Uh, Mid-range. All of that good stuff. Ball handle, cross people. Whatever you want to do. So if you like the video, uh, please put a like. Please, please, please put a like. Very important for the algorithm. Um, leave in the comment section who you would like to see next. Outside of that. Y'all stay safe, be blessed, peace.